Hey everyone, it's Trevor from Bass Fishing 523, and you're watching Intense Anglers Tip of the Week. Enjoy. Hey there guys, John here of course, and today I wanted to share a really quick primitive fishing method with you guys. Actually, to be more descriptive, it's a primitive fishing tool, and that is the gorge hook. A really fascinating fishing tool. So let me show you how you make one of these, and we'll actually put it into application on the body of water that I'm at today, and see if we can actually catch a fish using this method. All right, now before we get started here, I just wanted to say really quickly that the reason that I'm choosing the gorge hook to show you is that it is among the easiest and simplest to make of the primitive fishing tools. So with that said, let's get started on this. Now, all you're gonna really need for this is essentially a stick, okay? And just really simple here. And you're gonna wanna take the stick and cut it to the size that you're gonna need. Now, we're actually gonna get into size selection here um, when we get into the application. But uh, for now, we'll just show you how to make this thing. So you're gonna take your stick, get a straight section of it uh, to the size that you want. In this case, it's, it's actually gonna be fairly small, okay? And then you're just gonna want to uh, basically sharpen the ends, get the ends up to a nice little point. Now, I know you guys probably can't see this really well, but it's a really simple concept and um, don't, we're not going to do any close-ups or anything like that because it is fairly simple here and I'll show you the finished product but essentially just sharpen one end of it and go ahead and get the other end I'm actually gonna make this one a little bit shorter here about there should do it and uh, just go ahead and get that other end sharpened up nice little point it doesn't have to be a needle sharp or anything like that um, and you'll end up with something like this right here. I don't know if you guys can see that very well or not. But uh, it's basically just a double-ended pointy stick. Uh, just really simple there. And the next thing you're going to do is right in the center of it, you're going to create a little notch all the way around this here. And that's actually what's going to hold your uh, fishing line or you know cordage in place, whether you use a natural cordage or what have you. All right, now as you can see, we have the finished product here, and this is the gorge hook. And all it is, like I said, is a, basically a double end sharpened stick. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's a slight notch cut right in the middle of that, and that is to hold the line. Now you can use uh, some type of primitive cordage, but just for the purposes of this video, I'm going to use a little bit of fishing line, uh, just a simple braided fishing line and tie that directly um, in that little groove, that center groove of the gorge hook. All right, well, as you can see, we've got the gorge hook uh, tied up to the line here, just in the center. Now, we'll uh, get this baited up, and this is where we'll talk a little bit about how this works here. Now, uh, unlike a regular fishing hook, of course, which is kind of a J-shaped, uh, the fish bites that and it'll generally hook them in the jaw, uh, hook them somewhere like that. The gorge hook works differently in that you're baiting this up, and in, in this case we're actually just going to use a uh, night crawler for uh, simplicity here. But uh, essentially the way this works is that this is going to be uh, threaded on here in such a way that it's going to keep the line and the hook parallel. So we'll get one end of this uh, bait threaded on here with the line running up it so it kind of stays, it'll be staying in a kind of up and upright uh, position like I had mentioned with the line running parallel. Okay, so here we go. We've got our uh, rig baited up here, the gorge hook baited up, and as you can see, the stick is running parallel with the line. Now this is working on the principle that when the fish takes the bait, he's going to take it into his mouth and then when we fill him, it's going to set the hook and it'll gently pull that bait, which is barely on there, away from the line, um, turning it sideways and therefore uh, lodging it in the fish's throat. Now you are going to want to make the, the uh, gorge hook um, 
proportionate to the size of the fish that you're going to be after, that you're going to be pursuing. Now, uh, when you're fishing catfish, something like that with the bigger mouth, you're obviously going to want a bigger stick, a longer uh, gorge hook that's going to lodge in that fish's mouth. In this instance, we're going to be going after some creek chubs, which I know there's plenty of in this area. They, of course, have a smaller mouth, and I've uh, made the gorge hook accordingly. So let's get this out in the water in actual application and see if we can't catch us a fish. All right, we're down by the water now, and uh, like I said, I know there's a lot of creek chub in this area. We've caught tons of them here. So uh, we're just going to hand line it and see if we can't catch a fish. In fact, uh, one just jumped right there. So. Uh, we actually caught one. Just a little tiny creek chub. I can't believe how can't believe how uh, deep he actually took this. You can see this or not. So get a good view. But he actually took that pretty deep. This was actually a pretty good. Look at that. That's way down in there. Wow, yeah, I don't know how we're going to get this out of here, <laughs> but uh, anyway, you can see it's effective. I'm actually surprised uh, we were able to catch one that small on uh, that hook. They're usually a little bit, a uh, little bit bigger, so um, anyway, I'm going to have to try to dislodge this thing. You really got it. He's not happy about that. There we go. Yeah, it just keeps lodging it. That's the beauty of this. Once it's in there, it's in there. It's not happy at all. So, anyway, that's how the uh, gorge hook works, guys. Now if we can just get it out of his mouth here and get him back in the, back in the water. There we go. There. Comes out that way. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm absolutely shocked we caught one that small, but anyway, let's see if we can get him to swim back away here. There he goes. All right, success. Well, there you go, guys. Just a quick look at a really simple, basic, primitive fishing tool, the gorge hook. Now, there are a lot of other primitive fishing tools in regards to hooks that you can create, such as a shell hook, a bone hook, a thorn hook. Uh, there's a lot of variations out there. But uh, for my money, the gorge hook is one of the more simple to make with limited tools and resources. And as you saw, it's, it's effective when used properly. So anyway, that's about all I got. And before we go here, I would like to take a second to thank Trevor over at Bass Fishing 523 for taking the time out of a great day of fishing to film the intro for this week's tip of the week. Really appreciate that, my friend. And uh, keep up the great fishing over your way and the great videos, brother. Now, the rest of you guys, I just wanted to say, as always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the encouragement, the comments, the thumbs up, uh, just everything that you guys continue to extend my way. It's so much appreciated. Now, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this evening, turn the camera off, and we'll be seeing you guys really soon, okay? Take care.